On a bustling afternoon in June 2015 at Los Angeles International Airport, the esteemed actor Tommy Lee Jones inadvertently found himself at the center of a hilarious, albeit unscripted, comedy. Tommy, known for his stoic demeanor on screen, was awaiting his flight at the airport. As he navigated through the terminal, he unintentionally stumbled upon a group of tourists who were discussing their excitement at spotting a celebrity in the airport. The tourists, convinced they had identified a famous actor, pointed excitedly in Tommy Lee Jones' direction, whispering fervently among themselves. Oblivious to their attention, Tommy continued on his way, focused on his travel plans. However, curiosity got the better of the enthusiastic tourists, and they decided to approach the actor for a photo. With wide smiles and trembling excitement, they approached Tommy, eagerly asking, "'Excuse us, are you Harrison Ford?' Tommy, known for his no-nonsense demeanor, couldn't help but be taken aback by the mistaken identity. Rather than correcting the tourists, he decided to humorously play along. With a deadpan expression, he looked at them and replied in his characteristic deep voice, No, I'm actually Meryl Streep. The tourists, initially stunned by the unexpected response, soon erupted into laughter, realizing their mistake. They embraced the humorous exchange and seized the opportunity to take a photo with the good-humored actor, Tommy Lee Jones, who had momentarily stepped into the shoes of Meryl Streep. The light-hearted encounter quickly became the talk of the airport, spreading laughter among the bystanders and creating a ripple of amusement throughout the terminal. The comical incident, witnessed by fortunate onlookers at LAX, showcased Tommy Lee Jones' unexpected wit and willingness to join Join in on a moment of humorous mistaken identity. Even in a brief encounter, his ability to inject levity into the situation left a lasting impression, turning an ordinary day at the airport into a memorable and laughter-filled experience.